Ah, drawing while you were still in school. Did anybody else do this? Or was it just me? Whether it be, um, a class you were taking, or maybe just you had some extra free time and you drew, or even if the teacher was giving instruction and you tend to doodle. I mean, that was definitely me. I'd like to do that. Well, were there any certain pet peeves or just peeves in general you had when you were drawing in school? I'm over here, I'm raising my hand. I know that some of you are behind the computer and you're partially raising your hand or giving that acknowledging nod of like, oh, yes, yes, Akemi. I know this all too well and it's, it's just, ah! Um, so, <laughs> um, yeah, did you draw a lot? And uh, did you always seem to have that one person constantly looking over your shoulder and it just bothered you every time but you were socially awkward so you couldn't even say go away and they did? Uh, yes. Well, since um, a lot of my peeves from school came back from high school, I am actually redrawing an old piece that I made from high school. Um, the old drawing is over here. I'll just real briefly just show that on the screen while my speed draw is working in the background. Um, she was a character I made for Clamp's series Subasa, and for the longest time I called her Sakai, but I think it's actually pronounced Seki. S-E-K-I. I don't know. I mean, I'm such a weeb and I don't know how to pronounce the name, so... <laughs> you know what? Oh well. But it was something that I remember drawing in school, or something I remember really proud that came out of my high school days, and I was like, this is the perfect time to take this character, take this drawing, and just redraw it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm redrawing my old character my old Tsubasa character. <laughs> and, um, also, uh, if you noticed way at the beginning, I actually did use a, um, a pose. I have a program called Design Doll. I'm gonna put it up on the screen a little bit right here. There it is. There's Design Doll. Um, I purchased a license for it, and it is a free program, but the license basically just allows you to save the models, so that way you don't have to recreate the models all the time, you just get to save the models and then open them up, and there you go. But anyway, I bought this program just because it helps me so much digitally when I just struggle with things like feet, and hands, and foreshortening, and I just wanted, um... Seki, I, I think that's the appropriate way to say her name, not Sakai, even though Nostalgia Me wants to say it like that. But I just wanted to redo her pose. So I went in, I quickly drafted up a model for her, and even the model itself is like not totally perfect. And I know some people will be like, oh my god, you're tracing, but you know what, that's what I use for reference, for, for digital reference, and that's it's a tool for me to use, and I enjoy it. Now! Back to what we were originally talking about. Yes, peeves. Peeves at school. Um, peeves as a noun, and Google says, is a cause of annoyance. Oh yes. Oh yes, I, I remember lots of mini nuances, mini just things that would annoy me when I was in school. And it always happened in high school. Like, by the time I got to college, I never really had that person looking over my shoulder and like constantly asking what I was drawing and maybe it's because I was in more of a design field so it's like all the um thanks speech all the students all the kids collectively around me just understood that hey we're all kind of like designers here and we all like to doodle and draw and that's okay and that's cool and and we all just kind of um non-verbally understood each other and we never had people looking over our shoulders. But it was always in high school. It was like in public school for me that you would have these annoyances, these peeves. And the three things that I would mostly get is, one, is she naked? <laughs> oh, my God. oh, I say that and I still cringe today. Two, you should draw blank. And I'm putting a blank because I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate to this where you just have somebody come up and just say, you should draw blank. 
And I only had one instance of somebody coming up and saying this, but yet at the same time, I still distinctly remember it to this day that I kind of <laughs> look back and I think to myself, did that really happen? <laughs> did this person really ask me to draw this? But anyway, and then of course, lastly, the biggest thing that I got when I was drawing in high school and it just kind of bothered me is that anytime somebody would want to see me draw, they would see the style, they'd see the big eyes, or they'd see like, you know, that very square and pointy chin face and they'd immediately be like, is that anime? And, <laughs> oh goodness. Um, it was always like, anytime somebody said, is that anime? It's like, it's like, okay, if it was like a simple clarification, yes or no answer, but almost any time somebody would ask me that, they would say it in a way that just sounded like so, um, mean girls, condescending of, oh, she's drawing anime, that's like that new thing that's going around and is totally popular with, like, that kind of crowd and group. So is that anime? Oh my god, it was just, it always felt like anytime somebody asked me that, the way that they said it just sounded like they were just so, just so disgusted. Even if slightly or subtly, I think I just got so biased and so warped by hearing this tone that I think about for so long that when people would come up to me and genuinely ask, like, oh, is that anime? Like, I would just immediately have that negative association, negative context, and be like, mm, I don't want to talk to this person. I don't want to acknowledge it. I kind of would just sit there and keep doodling away and be like, mm, yeah, yeah, it kind of is. But, um... Getting to the first two that I just talked about, first with, is she naked? <laughs> I mean, I would never draw characters with like their clothes on automatically. I would always start with the body. I would start with the head and the neck and the shoulders and the torso and blah, 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 blah. I had my own just way of trying to figure out the body. And um, because people, it's like, it was just, the timing for me was just so terrible. I would always have somebody that would look over and it's like conveniently look over as I'm conveniently drawing like boobs or um, the, uh, what's it called? The crotch area. And somebody would be like, oh my God, is she naked? And it's like, there's no nipples. There's no nothing. It's just a blank slate. And people would be like, is she naked? And I would just be like, I'm not finished. That's always the response I had to do with. I'm not finished. Like, people, please just wait. Just stop. Please. Please just stop. Like, I don't know. That was just one of the things that always bothered me. I didn't get it a whole lot. And at the same time, I still continue to draw in class. But I think as my classmates got to know me, they just kind of knew that I was that person that just doodled in class and nobody really ever bothered me. Um, I think I maybe had one or two people in high school that would see me working on, like, comics or something, and they would want to see it, but otherwise, I think the majority, after they got to know me and got to know I was that artsy kid in class, that they would leave me alone. But yes, is she naked? No, she's not naked. It's not finished yet. Please stop coming to those conclusions. <laughs> Please be patient. <laughs> okay. Um... The other one that I got was, you should draw blank. I don't know if any of you out there have ever had this, but that was me. You should draw blank. And the blank that the word that I'm gonna use in to fill in this blank is, and it was only one time, only one person ever asked this of me in high school. I don't remember what grade in high school, but somebody said to me, you should draw her boobs bigger. I remember that line. I remember it distinctly. I don't remember the person, I don't remember the classmate, I know it was a guy, but some dude in my class looked over my shoulder, saw me drawing a girl, and was like, you should draw her boobs bigger. That's, that's it. <laughs> it was just so profound, and I think it just shook me so much to the very foundation of who I am as an artist that I've never been confronted with that kind of commentary or somebody saying something so profound to me that it just boggled my mind that I still remember it today. You should draw her boobs bigger. And I'm like, wait, wait, what? And I just kind of was like, um, no. I don't remember what I said, but I kind of just nonchalantly like shrugged them off. Like, yeah, whatever, just go away. Just no, stop, no, mm -mm. And then of course, is that anime, which I have already talked droves about. But yes, it is anime. It's a style that 
unfortunately, um, like, I still rem I don't remember her name, but- Oh no, I remember her name. Oh man, now that I'm talking about this, I remember her name. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. But yes, I too had that art teacher that was like, Ugh, anime, why would you draw this? You're gonna get an F in my class if you draw anime. I did also have that art teacher too, but I actually had two sides of the spectrum. I had that really bad experience of an art teacher and I actually had a really amazing experience with a different art teacher who didn't mind that I draw anime. And so that was exciting. But um, so I know that another peeve people have is that if people watch you draw and truthfully to me, I just never had a problem with people watching me draw. It's kind of like, I think about it as like backseat gaming, but it's like backseat drawing. I don't have a problem with you watching me, but the moment you start doing like nitpicky things and constant commentary and stuff that I just didn't ask for, that's when I start getting like, no, stop it. And I also feel like, um, drawing due to the fact that I wouldn't mind drawing out in the open, especially with my friends who would like to watch me draw. And I think that just made me more accustomed and comfortable with it. But I understand that there are people out there that the moment somebody starts watching you draw, it's like everything becomes 10 times harder and you just get just ugh, you get all tense and get nerves and you hate it. And I'm so sorry for those people out there who have ever felt that way. So, I also feel like my peeves are basically usually because they're due to how a person's tone is. I think this is the main reason why those peeves in high school were because of somebody's tone and how they said it. Um, and like I said when I talked about, is that anime? Yes, that whole feeling of being judged or looked down upon, I think that just... That just was like the final nail in the coffin and it was like, yep, you are now on the peeve list. You're gonna, we're gonna sort you and catalog you into Akemi's brain. Here we go, peeve list right here. Is that anime? I just, I never liked how some people just sounded so condescending for it. And anybody out there else ever got that? Any of you, those of you who are like, remember high school or maybe still in school? Yes, I know some of you are still in school. You guys got this. You're awesome if you're still in school. Don't let things get you down. You're amazing. But, um,. Yeah, I hated that. I hated feeling so judged and looked on it. And so, um, I guess I'm gonna be asking with, like, what were or still are some of your peeves when you drew at school? What were some of your pet peeves? What was something that was just obnoxious that you didn't like? Whether, like, yes, like I said, reiterating myself, mostly half the time because my brain will run away with tangents and I'm trying to get back to what I was talking about prior, but anyway! Um, for those of you that are still in school, what are some of those pet peeves? What are some of those annoyances? What are some of those things that you were like, Oh my goodness, just leave me in peace, I swear! And what about some of those of you that are already out of school? And it's just like a distinct memory you still have to this day of like, Ah yes, the battlefield of class. <laughs> Sometimes it felt like that, I'm not gonna lie. Just, oh, just trying to make your way through. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, so, oh my goodness, please, 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 tell me in the comments below some of your peeves, some of the nuances, some of the annoyances that you had, I think I'm just talking and rambling on and repeating myself over and over and over again, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up a little bit, um, but please, please comment below, please tell me, I would love to see them, love to read them, love to interact with my amazing community. So, that aside, um, uh, be sure to follow me on my socials. They're gonna be in the description below. But yes, follow me on my socials. DeviantArt is usually where you get all of the amazing arts. And Instagram is also where you get amazing arts, but other things like crafts, because I like to craft and everything. And then, of course, the one that I'm mostly the most active on is Twitter, where... I feel like Twitter, I'm just using it as a great way to just interact with people, with people in different communities, art communities, and so on and so forth, and just tweeting things that are randomly on my mind. Sometimes there will be photos, sometimes there will be selfies. There hasn't been many selfies in a long time, but anyway, yes, follow me on my socials if you want to see what I'm doing. Comment below to tell me all your amazing pet peeves, and thank you so much for, um, thank you, blah, 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 blah. 
thank you so much for liking. Yes, Brian, that's what I'm about. Thank you so much for watching my amazing, my amazing peeps. Chair, you squeak one more time and I swear. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Give it a like, comment, subscribe if you want more of this amazing content. And please, please, please ring that notification bell. Because if you don't ring the notification bell whenever I put up videos, you won't know about it. They'll just get lost in your feed and you'll never see them again. Or at least that's what it feels like sometimes. But yes, ring that notification bell. So that way you can keep up to date. And remember, everybody, be awesome. Be you, Akemi. Okay,